the channel if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell i do drop new content on this channel every single day so with that being said let's just get right into the video you guys i don't want to waste any time it is tuesday may 11th and i'm talking about healthier choices management ticker symbol hcmc currently sitting at 0 0.0015 at the time of this video now if we take here a look at the chart here for hcmc let's take a look at the month chart you can see that back at the end of april was up to 0 0.0024 has since kind of dipped off from that still kind of around the price that it was before the pop off back at the end of april to 0 0.0015 to where we are today again i would say that is still up because it was sitting at around 0 0.0011 or 0 0.0012 for like a month and a half so still up from that but I just wanted to make this video because I do update you guys continuously on HCMC and what's going on. Nothing going on here with the court case or anything like that. Still waiting for the judge's response. But I wanted to talk about the first quarter 2020 financial results that HCMC did report. Um, pretty interesting, pretty strong results, I would say. So just wanted to quickly go over this. So first you can see... First quarter 2021 results and highlights the net sales from operations amounted to approximately 3.5 million, down 14% from the same period last year, which is obviously a significant portion related to COVID-19 sales. Um, COVID-19 sales surge in the grocery department. Total operating expense was approximately 2 million for the three months, ended in March 30th, 1st, 2021, a decrease of 15%. Net loss from operations was 696,000, a 1% decline from the prior year. And adjustment adjusted EBITDA loss amounted to 394,000, which is an improvement of approximately 9% when compared to the same period last year. The CEO, Jeffrey Holman, who if you guys are a shareholder of HCMC, you're very familiar with Jeffrey Holman. I feel like he's one of the more transparent and just overall publicly uh, talk directly talking to his shareholders he does a great job is what i'll say so jeffrey holman says he we are pleased with our first quarter results which reflect the normalizing of sales increasingly improving momentum of our operating cost reductions and he also says we continue with our commitment to better the fundamentals of our operations the progress made is largely attributable simplifying our structure sharpening our focus and we believe that our businesses are well poised to continue delivering operational improvement now Included in this first quarter of 2021 was the announcement of the new vitamin store online, the vitaminstore.com, which I think is doing pretty well here for HCMC. You can see they obviously sell Add as Naturals uh, Plus, like market stuff like that, um, lotions, sugar scrubs, face wash, cedarwood, body spray, a lot of different things. You can see the category is pretty large pretty diverse um you know list of products that they do sell so again like i've talked about in previous videos in regards to hcmc i definitely think that they are making strong strong moves here and this is nothing to do with the pending patent infringement lawsuit with philip morris i just think as far as the business fundamental side and just uh things that they're doing on the business side i think are improving the financials are improving a lot of the things on the business metrics are improving as well so those are very, very positive signs here. And at 0 0.0015, we are all, as HCMC holders, just waiting for the judge's response. I know it's been a while since we've heard anything, so hopefully we will hear something very, very soon. Um, I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks, definitely by the end of this month, hoping to hear something on that front to see what happens there. Again, this is a long-term hold here. It's always been a long-term hold here. Just wanted to update you guys because... The first quarter 2021 financial results did come out and somewhat strong as far as any adjusted EBITDA improvement of 9% year over year. So just wanted to update you guys on that. Let me know in the comments below how you guys are feeling about HCMC, where we are with the court case and where we're going moving forward. All right. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Drop a like on this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.